Thousands of people, most of them living in neighborhoods along Old Georgetown Road, are furious with the design of newly installed bike lanes. A petition calls them catastrophically dangerous and demand that they be removed. They're talking about the lanes over a nearly two-mile stretch of the road, also known as Route 187, between Interstate 495 and Nicholson Lane. Proponents of the plan say the lanes may be imperfect but will help save lives. News Force Paul Wagner has the story. The State Highway Administration says the new bumpered bike lanes were installed in each direction after, quote, valuable input from community members and other stakeholders. But they are wildly unpopular after residents saw what they did to the traffic. They've caused congestion that's unbelievable. For us to just go a short way down Old Georgetown Road is more than twice the time it took before. A change.org petition has more than 4,000 signatures and list serves are filled with people complaining about the lanes. At rush hour, afternoon and morning, it takes maybe 15 minutes to go that mile to mile and a half. Nate, an avid cyclist, says there needs to be a better design. I think it would be reasonable to have a single two-way bike lane on either the northbound or the southbound side of the road. In a statement, the State Highway Administration says traffic engineers estimated an additional one to two minutes of travel time once these spike lanes were put into place. But people who are using this road, especially during rush hour, say it's gotten so congested that drivers are looking for alternate routes and are going off into the neighborhoods. Supporters of the bike lanes say they also improve safety. Since 2019, two teenage cyclists, Jacob Castle and Enzo Alvarenga, have been killed while riding their bikes along Old Georgetown Road. The State Highway Administration said in part, we anticipated an adjustment period for motorists to become familiar with the new travel patterns. A few extra minutes of drive time is worth it if it saves lives. The Washington Area Bicyclists Association also released a statement, which reads in part, the implementation, while not perfect, provides a safer buffer for people walking and biking along these 3.1 miles and will help avoid preventable harm. While this is a dramatic change, we should focus on how the lanes can be improved and made safer. Mary Beth Cullen says she now avoids Old Georgetown Road and feels the State Highway Administration needs to go back to the drawing board. I would like for a very thorough, comprehensive analysis and risk analysis to be done between the state and the communities. I'm not pro-bike or anti-bike. I just want the road to be safe for the community. In Bethesda, Paul Wagner, News 4.